Welcome to our online audience. We are delighted to have you all with us in this special event of Peace One Day from SPS Studios in Tel Aviv. We are thrilled to host the Israeli and Palestinian Live Global Moment. My name is Shani, and I'm the director of Kids Creating Peace, which is a non-profit organization that engages Israeli and Palestinian teenagers in dialogue and peace education programs. The mission of KCP is to provide children and youth from both sides of the fence with the opportunity to meet for the very first time. The participants are acquiring empowering and practical tools that are based on universal spiritual rules. And the teens in KCP's programs collecting experiences and insights that will bolster their willingness to act sincerely and work together to resolve the conflict with the other. We in KCP are striving to reach all teenagers in the region in order to create a mass that will impact a truly significant change of the reality here. The participants in the programs by KCP are teenagers who will shape the reality of life and the peace process in the region in the not too distant future. Some of those amazing young leaders are here with us today. Let's say hello to four participants that have just graduated a one-year dialogue program by KCP in partnership and support of USAID. Roy. Hi, my name is Roy and I'm 14 year years old from Shoham. Hi, my name is Sahai, but I'm 14 years old and a half. I'm from Jerusalem. Hi, my name is Mara. I'm 14 years old. I'm from the east of Jerusalem. Hi, my name is Jira. I'm 14 years old and I'm from Haradar. Thank you guys. We're so excited that you're here with us. We also have with us special guests that are very, very dear to KCP and are very active in the work of promoting peace in the region. Artist Noam Achinoam Nini and Mira Awad, together with musician Gildo, thank you so much for being us. Thank you. Welcome. It's our pleasure. Noah and Mira released an album together, There Must Be Another Way, featuring both solos and duets in English, Hebrew and Arabic and also participated in the Eurovision Song Contest in 2009. Thank you for your support and being us with us here today. Let's do it. <laughs> the theme of Peace One Day this year is who will you make peace with? And the reality today in our region is that kids from both sides are growing without knowing each other at all, with fences and walls between them. This poor reality creates the situation of strong stereotypes and lots of fear and misperceptions. You guys have been participated in KCP dialogue programs and I would like to ask you the first questions. What does Peace One Day mean to you? What, what is the opportunity you think this day creates? Roy. Um, Peace One Day is a day that symbolizes an idea. The concept of this goal, of this idea, is that we can create something that we wish for together. This day gives you an opportunity to speak out loud, that everyone can see, hear you, and to say that what you want is peace. When we met each other in the dialogue program in KCP and in the camp, we've understood that we have more things in common that unites us and gets us together than the things that separates us. And it is a very powerful word, peace, because it gets us together. And I think we should have more children gathering up into this program. Thank you. So, hi. what does Peace One Day mean to you? What is the opportunity you think we have in this day? Peace One Day means to me a lot, in fact. It's like a dream has came true for lots of people. And for some people, it's just an interview on TV. But to me, it's more than the both. We are talking about peace. Peace is the only thing in the world that can be created. But with our help, the youth help, it will be creatable. Uh, and Jewish, Muslims, Christians, being together, eating together, having fun together, talking with each other, even sleep in the same room, like what we did in the last four days in the summer camp. So imagine that that, that means that there's a hope to be peace between Jewish and Arabians. 
and uh, we so let's move and make world peace in fact before the project with KCB dialogue I uh, I felt hatred towards for these uh, for the uh, people from the other side but now I had another thought about them I love my friends I love my Jewish uh, Jewish friends though so that means th so you mustn't judge anyone before knowing what's inside him you must feel what he feels Thank you so much, Suhai. This is so inspiring. And I want you to show what you have on your hand because you draw a nice, uh, a nice uh, drawing on your hand. Maybe you can show. And you told me that when you look at it, it's, it's something that makes you very happy. Maybe you can share, share it with us the to the camera with all, with all different <laughs> signs. Yeah. It's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mara, what does peace one day mean to you? What opportunity do you think we have here today? Peace is a very important and a strong word. Peace is a power, and a lot of things can achieve peace. In this dialogue project, I learned a lot of things about the people on the another side. They are very kind, and in my opinion, if we united, we can achieve peace. And I want to say to the world in this peace day, there is no way to peace. Peace is the way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Um, for me, Peace One Day is an opportunity to tell people what we learned in the KCP program, that there is a way to live a better life. Maybe we can share about the KCP program, because when you say about the program, the one-year program that uh, we have in KCP is a, a bi-weekly meeting. So every two weeks, we met for three hours of studying together, getting to know each other. That's right. And then in the summer, a four-day summer camp, that's so high, b we can say unforgettable summer camp, sharing the same room and really building trust. So, um, so what we learned is that there is a way to live a better life and a happier life. And there is a possibility that both sides will be happy with everything and, sat and they'll feel satisfied and just feel comfortable. And not only in a political situation, but so also in the class uh, with someone that you maybe don't get along with. Um, and solving problems is one of the main things that we learned in KCP. And I brought here um, a box that calls uh, the solution box. Yes, this is the solution mm -hmm. box. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and when s you feel sad or angry or uncalm and you know that there is no way you can be calm uh, uh, it gets a lot so um, uh, you read this um, it has uh, um, each one wrote to himself this note so you know exactly how to cheer yourself up and calm yourself down and it's like mm, a way to solve problems because when you're calm you can solve problems and you don't go to extreme and you don't get... Uh, that's so interesting that you say yeah. that because that's exactly what when we start work on, on peace with the other, we first focus on peace with ourselves. That's right. Uh, acknowledging the fact that when we fear or when we anger, when we feel all those reactives, exactly. uh, reactive feelings, we can really choose to act differently. Exactly. And this is a very sweet tool to yeah. have a solution box exactly. with all tips for those moments. Uh, and when you realize that you have opportunities to try to talk and understand one each other, and then we will be able to make some kind of agreement that everyone will be happy with and they'll feel comfortable because they'll know that it's fair, that they don't give up too much and they don't get too much. Uh, they'll know that they'll com they're comfortable with it. So when each side separately feels good with himself, exactly. he can engage with the other. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. And I want to ask you guys, Noah yes. and Mira yeah. and Gilly, oh. that are here with us today. Wow. Wha what is this opportunity for you? What does peace one day mean to you? We're going to start with Gil. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, well, peace is definitely achievable. But we need, we need to relinquish a few notions that are very prevalent in our areas and maybe everywhere in the world, uh, such as the notion of victory, the notion of um, 
absolute justice of um, judgmentalism and self-righteousness, uh, if people would sacrifice a percentage of what they are willing to sacrifice for the notion of victory, which means their life so often, we will have peace in no time at all. We just have to just relinquish those ideas and just join peace. Mm -hmm. Well, sitting here in this room, you'd think um, that peace is broken <laughs> 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 and, and we're okay. Um, uh, it's a bit difficult for me because it has not. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as difficult for me to, uh, as it is to understand why it has not, but it has not, and even today, in the in one in this peace day, people have died around the world from uh, actions of war, of all kinds of racism, discrimination, uh, hatred, fear. People have died today. So, um, for me, uh, days like this, and for me, every day is like this, is an opportunity to think, um, to think where I can change in order to to do something. And I think most of us, especially in our region, we, we wait for the other side <coughs> to reach out. And what I always said, I always did, I thought that I'm, if I wait around for the other side to reach out and ask me to join some kind, I should do it first. And um, I think that's what we do with our music. I think that's what we do with our lives. Um, you have to start. You have to start somewhere. And you have to give up all the ego and the not forget the history, okay? We're not talking about forgetting history. For history is very important, but it's important for museums. <coughs> let's put it in the museum and let's reach out for each other and start to live for tomorrow. Because if we don't, we don't have a tomorrow. And I would like to have a tomorrow, especially with such beautiful youth sitting yeah. in this room. Yeah. I would love them to have a tomorrow. Yeah. So, Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> Noah. What does <laughs> peace one day mean to you? Shalom. Well, like Mira, I also feel that every day should be considered a peace one day. Every day should be a day that we think what we can do in order to bring peace um, to our lives, which I think is the most important thing we should be striving for. And uh, I, I'd make, separate my comments into two categories. One is, is, is referring to religion in general, um, which is something I've been grappling with all of my life, being that I grew up in a religious home. And today I've totally separated myself from religion in its organized and dogmatic form. Mm -hmm. um, my Judaism, I'm a Jew, but as a Jew, I, I consider Judaism my culture and not my religion. Mm -hmm. And I really think that the wisdom that all religions have is universal. Mm -hmm. it, 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 the human values are the ones that we should be stressing um, and teaching our children. And those are common to all. You actually don't need any kind of religious education in order to connect those kinds of things. And you can also be very religious and feel those things. Mm -hmm. So I think that, that it is the, uh, the, um, the fear that is instilled in, in our hearts, unfortunately, through religion often, mm -hmm. should be um, dismissed. Mm -hmm. And if religion does exist and must exist, it should be focusing on elements Spiritual. of love, and uh, kindness and generosity only. And, 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 and it is the responsibility of religious leaders to emphasize that, really. I mean, and, and it is the responsibility of the followers to demand that of their leaders. Um, and the other, my, the other uh, half of what I'd like to say is, is, is just to, to speak about something um, that I believe in that I, I, I once wrote and I really think that summarizes um, well what I believe uh, in, especially for our region, peace in our region. And that is three points. Um, one is, I is recognize. I really think that we should be recognizing each other, really looking at each other and recognizing who, who the other side is. This connects to the comments that all the young people made here. So we really don't know anything about each other. And we, uh, we, we seem to, 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 it's easy for us to consider the other as invisible or non-existent or just, just to go like that. So we have to recognize the, the history, the rights, et cetera, et cetera. The second thing we have to do is truly apologize to each other. And I, I think this is the most important part because if we don't really feel the pain of the other and, and, and um, commit to mourning together for whatever was lost, to really feel the other's pain, I don't think we can make progress. We can't skip that part. So it's, you have to apologize and mourn and cry together. People who cry together can also live in happiness together. Mm -hmm. And the third part is sharing. 
And sharing is, even though it's something that we teach our children, share your toys, share your food, share <laughs> we teach it in kindergarten, but it seems very difficult for adults to do when they grow up, to just share, because that is a, uh, a, also an uh, um, inseparable part of our ability to reach peace. Um, and Mirai and I have been trying to do that, sharing our languages, our cultures, our stage, um, our ideas, and together with Gil through our music, trying to convey that. Wow, that's beautiful. Thank you. And, and you all also uh, raised the point of, of the second questions that are very practical things, like what should happen in order to achieve peace. Mm -hmm. So we say recognize, apologize, oh, share. and share. <laughs> Three steps. Yeah. Beautiful. Any yeah. other thoughts of practical things that we as individuals can do in order to promote peace in this region? I think one practical thing would be to start listening to our hearts and not to the media. <laughs> that would help. Um, it's, the thing is, we are driven by fear. Both sides, all of us, driven by fear. The most practical thing I can think of is trying to take a step back and try to, uh, to analyze what we're feeling. If it's fear, if it's doubt, why is it there? And I think it's, it's a job that you do with yourself first. Yeah. Try to open that door of, the, of that fear. And then when you, when you put them in the same room, suddenly you see that they're just young people. And suddenly they see it. And they're not so afraid of each other anymore. And it's very easy to communicate. You just find some language. If you don't have English, you'll have sign exactly. language, whatever. Yeah, music, you'll you find have football. Something. You, have you play <laughs> football, you play mm -hmm. music. Exactly. Yeah. Once you get rid of that barrier of the fear, everything is possible, possible actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that th that would be the practical yeah. <laughs> advice I would give the world yeah. today. Just <laughs> leave fear, go step back, observe. It's very f difficult. It's easier uh, said than done yes. to leave fear, OK? Yeah. But I'm saying it's, it's an attempt yourself. to say, OK, I have doubt, I suspect these people, I've learned all my life that they hate me, they want to kill me, I, I'm, I'm in all this doubt all the time. So let's take a step back and see it maybe differently. One thing that I never um, can understand is how easily and readily we are willing to go towards war mm. and, how, um, and how difficult it is for us to make peace. Because we have generals yeah. of war, yeah. we don't have generals for That's peace. That's right. We have an organization for war. There's We're all set. Let's go. We have the weapons. We have the thing. Yes. We have the bravura. Yalla, let's kill each other. But peace, oh my god, no, 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 no. We need a referendum. We need to talk about it for years and years. To war, we go in step five one, seconds. Step two, yeah. yeah. So I say let's turn that around. Okay. Let's take a long time to go to war, if at all, ever. <laughs> and let's try to make peace now already because we've already talked about it for enough years yeah so let's give it a chance because i don't yeah, think and, the we, and we will be hear music soon and and, and yeah. one strong line that noah you talked about before as well is and when i cry i cry for both of mm -hmm. us and my pain has no name so so soon soon stay with I us we're gonna hear the the song yeah i would like to add to that that um we must also continuously demand accountability from from the media and be very exactly. suspicious of what we are hearing. Mm -hmm. I mean, this moment, for instance, I'm talking to you. We are in a media event. My voice is very low, and it, I, it feels like I'm whispering in your ear. Mm -hmm. But in fact, I'm yelling through the media to thousands of people watching this. Mm -hmm. And we have to remember that every little item in the paper or in the news that we hear, some journalists take some account from somebody and that somebody is that word is augmented thousandfold and reaches the hearts and the ears of everybody and that w that is why the media which sells sells fear and sells hatred even just for money not knowing it even not thinking about it every event every terrible thing that happens that gets augmented yeah. makes people afraid they don't check their neighbor they check the the newspaper the headline and if the headline says that somebody did something terrible then everybody goes to the shelter and 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 we need the citizens to spread the word through internet through our friends through the facebook and everywhere and tell people and now hey, we can do it more cool than ever down. now we can do it more cool than down. ever with the media thank you and i want to hear from you guys what do you think are practical things that we can do in order to achieve peace in our region? Um, I think that the things that are interrupting us from achieving peace are the stereotypes and the hatred that people create. 
that drags us into a false reality. Uh, in KCP, we learn to misjudge, uh, misjudging people. You need to know and meet the person that you're judging, because that's, what hap that's what's happening in this world. You take someone, you judge him, and you don't even know him. And there's always a way that we can communicate without um, creating these stereotypes. And there's one thing, one thing that we should never forget is that we should not judge a book by its cover. And I think that this is one of the most important Thank things you. that we're Thank you very much. Suhail? So I guess that you all should open your mind and think of a good way to use our help to achieve peace. And because uh, we are the peace ambas ambassadors, and uh, I wish to continue this in this project to be a peace creator. Uh, this, this uh, is uh, there is an old saying says that if you want peace, then get ready for the war. But I say that there is so many ways to create peace without war, mm -hmm. with our help. We just need some more new people, people who cares about peace, people who support us to continue in this project. Inshallah, and we are looking for supporters. So if anyone uh, loves what y you see here and would like to support the dialogue programs. So we would like to see as many teenagers as possible engaged in this kind of activity. Thank you. Marah, what are the practical things you, th you think should happen? In my opinion, to achieve peace, we have to respect each other and to know how to be a friend. And we have to solve problems between Palestinians and Jewish. And we shouldn't judge someone before we know about him enough. And we should put the past aside and look for the future, because yeah. together we can achieve it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Shira, what uh, are the practical things that you think should happen? I think that in order to achieve peace, both sides need, need to talk one to each other politely and make sure that during these conversations, the human dignity does not get hurt. And, y and we must, uh, we will, then we will be able to reach an agreement that both sides will be happy with and they'll feel satisfied and comfortable because, as I said, it won't be uh, the feeling that yeah. you are giving up on something. Exactly. Not or giving either giving up or getting too, too much. much less. Ma this so is so inspiring to hear from you guys. Yeah. Uh, really, we in KCP witness an amazing change in perception and in behaviors with the participants that are taking part in our dialogue programs. This is truly a life-changing experience, meeting the other and understanding that we as people have so much in common. Yes. And that that is when we are uh, united, we can achieve anything we will aim for. And I think that the most important thing is remember that the tool to overcome uh, uh, conflicts and challenges are, uh, are French is friendship. And uh, we must never, under any circumstances, give up and lose hope. And so mm -hmm. friendship, don't lose hope, and get to know each other and talk to each other. Exactly. That's, that's exactly... I want to show you this uh, ge geode stone. The geode stone, yeah. This mm -hmm. is one of the activity that you did in the in the course. Yeah. If you look at in this uh, side, if you look at it's not interesting and uh, it's uh, not special. Mm -hmm. But if you turn it and look at it from this side, you look at it's uh, brilliant and very beautiful, interesting. And this is what I learned in the KCB. So. Don't judge anyone before you know what What's in inside? his wow. inside. Wow, that's so pretty. Thank <laughs> you so much. Yeah. And I've just yeah. spoken on the phone with the founder of KCP, Karen Berg, the spiritual leader of the Kabbalah Center all over the world. And Karen said to me just now, peace can only come from human dignity. And that's exactly what you said, Shira, as well. When we look into each other's eyes and we understand that we are all the same and we are all connected to one another. And that is also what the Kabbalah Center is doing, because putting people from all religions under one roof. This simple message of peace is called by Noah and Mira and Gil in their music. And we would now love to hear the beautiful song, There Must Be Another Way. Thank you. There must be another, must be another way. Shall it be, 
מבקש אומרו, עברנו עד כה, דרך ארוכה, דרך כה קשה, יד ביד ועד מעות זולגות זורמות לשם, כאב ללא שם, אנחנו מחכות, רק ליום שיבוא. song there must be another way in English in Arabic in Hebrew thank you so much <laughs> apart from their music Noah and Mira and Gil are also meeting with Jewish and Arab teenagers voluntarily talking and sharing with people from both sides in order to promote their message of peace thank you for supporting KCP and mm. meeting our kids thank you and for being with us here today in this special event and now I would like to say that and to share with you that since 2005 Kids Creating Peace has worked with over 10,000 Israelis and Palestinians. These future leaders not only learned, they applied everything and as a result they transformed hatred into understanding. Understanding caused them to change their perception which allowed them to open up and ultimately they began to trust one another and work together. Our activity is supported by donations and we are grateful for every dollar that we receive as it allows us to help more children in the Middle East to live with a consciousness of peace. Your support keeps this program and other programs growing and we can reach more children and youth. We have a goal to reach thousand teenagers next year, a thousand, that will create a critical mass of young empowered peace ambassadors and in order to reach that we need your support. Kids Creating Peace is a non-profit organization and if you need any information please visit our website kcpeace.org. I would like to thank Peace One Day for this amazing opportunity and the Art Production Fund in New York for the, their support. A huge thanks for SPS Studios in Tel Aviv for hosting us here today and choosing to work voluntarily to this project and allow the call of peace to be heard. To Sapling Company for the broadcasting and all the technical support. Thanks to you, we have successfully aired to the world our call to support peace and education dialogue. To producer Sharon Shavit and to all the volunteers and all the workers that worked with us on this project. And now, I would like to finish with a quote from uh, Karen Berg, founder of KCP, of KCP, 
about the dialogue program. The only way that exists to resolve conflicts is through love. And the only way that we can learn to love each other is to know each other. And the only way that that can happen is through programs like this. And if that can happen, then we won't need fences. Thank you, everyone. And before we finish, just last accords and a few <laughs> more, uh, maybe the last verse or anything you'd like to play to finish this event, the live global moment from Tel Aviv. Boil your cord, it is a rock of shomer. Counting one, two, three, two, two, three, you and me at Bliso. Oh, Horbi, my nil khatar. Tchadbi, andi, nil matar. Oh, Rossi, my will, balad nasan. Nip a one, two, three, two, two, three, you and me will amar. Will you dance with me through the years as the seasons twirl and Will you dance with me through the fears as the days pass quickly, much too quickly, much too quickly? One, two, three, two, two, three, you and me still alive. ביד נרוץ אל האופן, דאוור על חל מיל מפעוד, הן כאבנו כבר את אשר עבר, אולי 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, you and me on the wood, היא מימי עשתה והכפו את פנינו בשנים, התרצי לרקוד אל